Tactical Thursday shop talk, everybody. It's Tactical Thursday. I'm going to show you my everyday carry today, and it was all tactical. And two of them, three of them, I used the heck out of. This is my SOG FX Martian Serrated Blackout. I was commenting today, I was going with a very nice subscriber. Uh, we discussed the uh, serrations. You either like it or you don't. And at my work, I explained to him what I use it for. I got to have serrations at my work. And I used it this morning. And I also used it on my SOG Vision XR Partial Serrated Blackout serrations. I also use that. SOG Studies and Observation Group. I'm going to leave them out because I need to uh, sharpen them a little bit. In my left pocket, I did. And I forgot about it. It's so light. I mean, it, if you were to get this, you would go, oh, that's cheap because it all feels like plastic. Well, they went lightweight. They did. They could have gone G10, but this is lightweight. It was designed for law enforcement and military as a backup, and it is a flipper. This is that K-Bar uh, 2490, and it has that lock, lock bar. And uh, you can do the thumb stud. I'm trying. Okay, and the flipper, just a great everyday carry. Last weekend, uh, this is what I carried in my pocket. It has that angle, nice self-defense, you got jipping. That's what it is, it's a self-defense knife. And I almost pulled the trigger on another brand today that has the uh, same type design, TDI design, you know, that angled, and it is a self-defense knife. But I didn't pull the trigger on it yet. It's a little up there, you know what I mean? And I used to show this every morning to you guys, so my new subscribers. This is the flashlight I use at work. I get there at dark. I get there about uh, 4 35 o'clock. And I go outside. This is my Streamlight Wedge flashlight. You see, you got your jipping right here. You got deep pocket carry. You got a USB port charging. Okay. You got a momentary switch. You turn it on, and it's 300 looms, okay? And then you hold it up, and it goes to 1,000 looms. Isn't that cool? So that way, you know, you put your finger on there, hold it 1,000, it'll get hot. But that's what the momentary switch is for. And uh, I usually, I'll keep it at the 300 like that, walking around, and if I need to see something at a distance, I just pop that 1,000 up. But yeah, I've had this, uh, it's uh, waterproof, they say. And I have to say that the only issue I had, because I work off the beach, y'all know that, I, I'm exposed to salt water, sand, uh, chemicals. And I did get a little gritty sand in there and I cleaned it out. Uh, one of my uh, subscribers gave me some uh, ideas on how to do it and I did it and it worked. So what was happening, I couldn't get it, get it to charge because it was kind of clogged up with sand. So I maintain it. But as far as what uh, rain, uh, it's been out there in storms. Uh, incredible. So that's the Streamlight Wedge flashlight. 300, 1,000 looms. Okay, what I did, I went inside. Uh, I had this in my backpack. It's been a long time since I held this. This is the Ontario Knives. Y'all know what it is. This is the Rat One. This is the Blackout. Isn't it awesome? I love this knife. G10 scales. You know, I got the Rat Ones and Rat Two. This is a fantastic knife. It really is. This is a uh, Aus 8. Aus 8 steel. Look at the texture of the G10 scales, lanyard hull. Look at the size of that. It's just a fantastic knife. It's got a little jipping right where you need it. It's a liner lock. And I call it tactical because that blackout. Oh, I love that knife. That's the Ontario Rat 1. I'm going to do a short on that. I haven't done that in a while. Because right now, I would say snag it while you can. You know what I mean? That's an awesome knife. So I'll put that off the side for a short video. Now, two that I'm going to, I can't decide on what to throw. Uh, three. Yep. I could throw the 
Seal FX fixed blade knife that I carry every day. I'm thinking about that. Might just go ahead and just throw it. Okay. I have the, uh, this is a great knife. This is tactical. I put the, uh, it comes with uh, a universal clip, metal clip, or they give you this in a box. Kind of a rubber belt loop to drop it down lower. And uh, this is the Recondo, Sog Recondo FX. CPM 440 steel. Look at the serious serrations on that. Nice jipping. It's got a rubberite, uh, rubberized handle. It's full tang. There's your lanyard. I've thrown this quite a bit. It's very well balanced. Wow, I might go for this one. This is a lot of fun to throw. Uh, I actually use this uh, during some storm, heavy storms at, at my work. Uh, some pre-hurricane and post-hurricane storms. This thing was really fantastic because of the grip, the rubber grip, you know what I mean? That's the Recondo by SOG FX. SOG. Studies in Observation Group. Okay, this is a this is one of my favorites. This is the SOG Pillar Blackout. A lot of people like this knife. It has that belt clip right here. I'm not so fond of those. Y'all know my opinion of those. But it is heavy duty. Works out great. You can do it on the horizontal. Whatever. Uh, this has uh, micarta scales. Okay, this is the blackout version. Got G10. I mean, I'm sorry, you got jipping. Can you tell I just got home? Right up here is where I struck it with a ferro rod, if you see that. But you can see how much I've used this. I use this quite a bit at work. I've thrown it quite a bit. It's very well balanced. Full tang, there's your lanyard. Little thing happening in the back there. This is the SOG pillar. This is USA made. So, these are tough choices on what to throw. The pillar, Recondo FX. I think I'll put this up because I worked with it a lot. That's the uh, Seal FX. I'll throw that another time. But I have to side on these. What I'd like to do tomorrow I don't have to mow the yard. I just looked at it. It hasn't grown enough. We've had kind of like dry weather. Uh, it's getting that time of year where they, everything's going to get kind of, you know, stale. It's not going to grow so fast. So tomorrow, past Friday, I'm going to come in here and I want to start my Micarta scales on that flipper. That's right. Uh, I might even, uh, if I got chance, I might even uh, get it taken apart have everything just set and ready i don't know y'all take care and sog out okay everybody i'm adding this on to shop talk uh, you know what's nice about me doing the scales on this honey badger is i told y'all on their website i got all the screws extra pocket clips bearings anything in case i lose something and this is a bag actually of when I was customizing some, okay? But I took this thing apart, it's all apart, so it's ready to go for me to start working on it. But I did a, I don't have my overhead set up. I just did a shot, I wanted to show you this, and uh, check it out. Okay, like I said, as I was taking this apart, I went very slowly. I'm gonna use the original scales again to make the pattern. Uh, these are the ones I made. This is the carve out that I had to do. And I went slowly. I wanted to see if I was missing anything. And uh, you know, I got a whole bunch of these parts I ordered online from Honey Badger as I customized the other one, has changed out scales. This is what I forgot to put on. You see this little metal spacer? It fits right here. And then you set your liner on there because on the other side you have your pocket clip see right there that makes up the distance i didn't have that on so i went to tighten this down to straight to the liner it bowed it and cracked it but it cracked it because i over sanded it underneath 
and I went right through it. So I just washed myself. This one came out really good, but that way I only have to use one scale, one slab, maybe. Okay, I just wanted to show you that. Just go slowly, and now I got a video of it. How about that? All right, so I went over it slow. That's good, I wanted to see what, if I did anything wrong, because I was looking mainly for the uh, bearings. And what I could tell, remember it wasn't flipping like a honey badger? What I could, uh, could get out of it was, it was it's just, it, it was off center a little bit, I think. I think when I sandwiched this down, this thing's about to pop and break up right now. When I sandwiched this down, it threw this off, which made the pivot groove sit. Anyway, I got it. Y'all take care and sog out.